why am I interested in motor racing? That's an interesting question. You can't answer a question like that. It's just one of these things that comes with you as you grow up. Um, and if you're involved, you get more and more interested. Well, Bond Cars was started in 1960 and I was working with Rover and Laurie had designed the car although I didn't know that at the time and he wrote to me and said would I be interested in coming and joining him and forming a company called Lawrence Bond Cars and he had a garage down in Loxwood and of course I said yes I'd be interested and I became a director of Lawrence Bond Cars. We had a mechanic there, Ray, who did most of the work. He was very, very good. Laurie, who had designed the cars, did most of the building of the cars. They were in, definitely designed as a race car. And if you look at the original drawings, it wasn't only designed as a Formula Junior, he had in mind that it would be a Formula One with a different engine, of course, and slightly extended wheelbase. But he, Laurie certainly thought that he could go on to build a, a Formula One. What he didn't realize was that we were late into the market. We were front wheel drive, front engined, and when the rear engine cars came along in late 1960, they were so much faster than any of the front engine that we couldn't find a market for the car. And we never, we never sold one. Well, we only ever produced the one although we had a lot of spares. Um, um, we just ran out of money. No other way to put it. Laurie was moving house and he apparently put an advertisement in the paper and Chris went round there one evening and Laurie hadn't had anybody come to see it and I think he was desperate to get rid of it. And he said to Chris, how much have you got? And I can't remember how much he said he'd got, but it wasn't very much. And he gave him all the money he'd got, and Loris told him he could take everything. And he literally had a van, and he loaded everything into the van and took it back to his place. And for 50 years, a bit more really, he, he kept it in a barn. Um, and so we, in a way we were so lucky that somebody was able to keep everything. My accountant who became a friend I, um, told me about Jan and his passion for cars um, and uh, mentioned that he wanted to get back into motorsport in some way. Um, and so uh, a gentleman called David Cross um, into, uh, brought Jon up and introduced him to me and we sat down at the kitchen table to discuss what kind of car Jon might uh, like. Uh, I'd prepared a long list of exotic cars um, from Maseratis and uh, Alfa Romeos to Jaguars uh, and others and um, it seemed the car that he really wanted was his original Formula Junior. We knew who had the original car and he didn't want to sell it and we had, Andrew had a, approached him once or twice and he, he wouldn't sell it and then there was a downturn in his fortunes, business fortunes and he decided one day that he would and he got in touch and we agreed to buy it and we bought all the spares, all the drawings, all the history and it came back to us. 
and I can remember my wife Jenny being in tears when it came back. She was so pleased to see it. <laughs> when we took delivery of uh, not only the, the car that Jan once raced, but also a complete set of components sufficient for us to build a second car at some point, um, at a glance it looked quite good. It was certainly on the button and I very illegally drove it down the road. Um, and, um, but it was clear that it wasn't in, in good order. And so the first thing we did when we got it back here was ask Andrew if he would look after it for us, which he did in gradually, slowly got it back so that it performed better than it had ever performed before, not only from the reliability point of view, but from the speed and the handling, he transformed it. Well, my name is Mike Walker. Uh, I raced in period uh, in Formula 3, Formula 2, Formula 5000, um, even managing just a few Formula 1 races, but not a Grand Prix. I never started a Grand Prix, unfortunately. These were the sort of non-championship races that existed in those days. But one day, Andrew said to me, have you ever thought of coming back and driving again? Bearing in mind, I'd had probably the best part of 40 year layoff from when I stopped, uh, or thereabouts. And I said, no, no, I'm not coming back. And he said, well, think about it. And then the offer was sort of broached again. And then I was introduced to Mr. Goddard Watts. And he said, well, why not? Come and give it a try, see how you feel. Um, and to be honest, whilst I was flattered to be invited, I was almost a little apprehensive. If I came back and didn't enjoy it, would it spoil some of the memories from the past? If I came back and enjoyed it, great. Uh, anyway, we did the day's testing, I thoroughly enjoyed it, and the rest is history, as they say. Monaco is everybody who's interested in motor racing, their dream, and it was always my dream that we should go to Monaco. I always wanted to race at Monaco, but never had that opportunity. So, having had an invitation now to go to Monica th this year was so exciting for us. Monaco is a very tight circuit, so we won't be getting high speeds there. So we'll actually we alter the gear ratios with, by fitting smaller or larger wheels on the front. So for Monaco, as I said, we'll be using the smaller wheels and we'll gear it to about 120 miles an hour. So it's very much a question of keeping a clean slate but keeping, keeping the progress, learning a bit with each of those sessions and making sure, hopefully, when you finish your heat, you finish your heat in a very good position. So you're right up the front if you can be for the final. Mike uh, came fifth overall. Um, difficult start. He may have got back to ninth, even tenth possibly, uh, on the star line, and then he worked forward uh, and came fifth. That was running well. Um, I've reprieved from walking home at the moment, but only temporarily. So the final is the final decision. We must forget we have got the best front engine Formula Juniors here in the world, and the best Formula Junior front engine driver in the world. So we're doing very, very well.
we've got Mike Walker returning here uh, for the first time since 1972 when he drove in Formula 3 for Ensign. Mike's raced in, was very successful in Formula 5000 years gone by, was a, a winning driver in Formula 5000 uh, and uh, delighted to be back here with the front wheel drive car, the Bond. Thanks to the dedication of Andrew and Mike drove so well. I'm absolutely thrilled with what he achieved. I think I was surprised how, how competitive he was, how fast the car was up the hills. And, yeah, I was pleased. But my wife, Jenny, was thrilled. She's seen the, known the car for so since the first inception, and it's as almost as close to her as it is to me. Yeah, she loved it. She's been very supportive all through, and I'm very grateful to her, certainly. Absolutely marvellous 10 days. Couldn't possibly have expected better. Fabulous. And a great weekend, and a great result for Mike. And thank you very much, Jan and Jenny.